And then Anne Ranking comes up to me and says, it is so nice to meet you. I don't know how you do what you do. <laughs> Anne Ranking. She could kick her own face. <clears throat> so, after introductions, first table read. I'm thinking, we're not, we're not gonna sing. Right? Nobody sings at 9 a.m. in the morning, right? So Rob Fisher plays the overture right into all that jazz. And B.B. Newworth sings full out. Well, at that moment, you could see everybody around the table just kind of sit up, take a swig of coffee, and strap in because the bar had just been set. And for the next two weeks, it was, come on, come on, let's have some fun. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Come on, top that. And someone who always rose to that occasion every single day was Marsha Lewis. <laughs> Got a little motto, always sees me through. When you're good to mama, mama's good to you. There's a lot of favors I'm prepared to do. You do one for mama, she'll do one for you. They say that life is tit for tat, but that's the way I live. So I deserve a lot of tat for what I got to give. Don't you know that this hand washes that one too? When you're good to mama, mama's good to you. Marsha Lewis was a force to be reckoned with. She taught me a lot. She taught me how to survive a Broadway schedule. She even took me to my first sushi dinner between shows, which I now love. <laughs> and Marsha Lewis may single-handedly be responsible for Chicago coming to Broadway at all. You see, at the time of the City Center production, Marsha was already on Broadway in Greece, produced by Fran and Barry Weisler. So the way Marsha told me the story, the Weislers were not exactly thrilled with the idea of letting one of their stars out of their hit Broadway show to go do this little weekend experiment. But Marsha was determined. Mama Morton was one of her favorite roles too. She promised them, I won't miss a single performance in rehearsal. And when I do have to be out, I will find someone that you already know and love to cover for me. And with that, they said yes. And Marsha Lewis, bought Fran and Barry Weisler two tickets to opening night at City Center. And the rest, as they say, is history. If you want my gravy, pepper my ragu. Spice it up for mama, she'll get hot for you. Marsha was also very well known in the cabaret and club scene for a song that I have never heard anyone else sing before or since. And I would like to sing it for you now as a tribute to her. For years I reigned in fairy dell, Chelsea. I waved my wand, I waved it well. If I can't do all I did, I'm satisfied because I'd sooner be a has-been than I would a never was. Nobody loves a fairy over 40. Nobody loves a fairy when he's old. He may still have a magic power, but that is not enough. They like their bit of magic from a younger bit of stuff. <laughs> when once your silver star has lost its glitter and your tinsel looks like rust instead of gold, your fairy days are ending when your wand has started bending. No one loves a fairy when he's old. 
can remember my youth. My wand would rise at the slightest provocation. All the little fairy boys would ask me for a stroll. But nowadays, more often than not, I'm mistaken for a troll. When once you've lost your little fairy dimples and the last spell that you cast was long ago, you stand there shouting, what -o? But they all pass by your grotto. No one loves a fairy when he's old. So what's the one conclusion if I may be so bold? No one loves a fairy when